so how's work? It's okay. Yeah? You look better. More rested than usual. I guess you're adjusting to life as a doctor. Such an honorable calling. I guess. You guess? I mean, it is. Of course. Hmm. Here, let me book your facial. No, it's okay, my darling. Why? What's wrong? They always have the TV on. Okay. This was the TV. It's something. Cancer for the soul. But you like the facials. Can't you just ignore it? If I had ignored it and allowed all this American TV in my house, you wouldn't be where you are today. Yeah? Besides, you love the films that you want to send from Zambia. She sent some more, too, if you want to take some. Brian and I have subscriptions, but speaking of Brian, my kitchen party outfit came in today. Ah, my daughter is getting married. Oh. Now it's a little tight, but I think it should work. Can you sit in it? Can you kneel in it? Can you crawl in it? <laughs> Where would I have to crawl? You didn't think you'd walk out of there, did you? They'll lead you out on your hands and knees. I'm going to have to crawl in front of everyone to get to my seat? You'll actually be sitting on the floor. Brains are supposed to be humble. Huh? I don't see what's a big deal anyway. Don't you kneel when you greet your elders? Huh? Huh? Chi-Chi, come now. Mm-hmm. 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 Come. Now lay down. And clap your hands. On the other side. Anyway, your aunties are coming to teach you what is expected of you. Is that what they're coming over for? Bridal counseling is very important. Bridal counseling? They're just coming to teach you how a wife is supposed to behave and that's it. Wait, why, why are they giving me the talk? Why can't you do it? I'm your mother and it's improper and you know this. I hope you don't have your period. No. Why? They have to check you down there. They're just checking. They won't touch you. For what? They're coming to make sure you're able to fulfill the duties to your husband. Mom? Brian is fine with that, trust me. All of that is completely fine. And does this even matter? I'm getting married here anyway. So? We are Zambian, it's our culture. No one expects us to follow every single rule. Says who? Mom, please, this is too much. Nobody here does that. None of the Zambians in New York do. Do you even see how most of them have lost their way? How most of them have strayed from their roots? Mom, I don't even like these aunts. They're just random women from your church group, but now I have to sit on the floor as they lecture me for hours. They're just coming to make sure that you have a successful marriage. That's it! Why? Both their husbands left them for younger women anyway. Chimuka, you respect your elders. Mom, please. Brian is a modern man. He loves me. He loves this relationship. Chichi, do you even know how embarrassed would be if they found out back home that you were not taught? That you are not even checked? They won't know. But I'll know. Mom, please. For me? For me, please. This isn't just about you. No, clearly it's not.
hope it's worth it. he tells you to please him. Kneel when you serve him food. Kneel when you greet him when he comes back from war. Treat him as an authority figure. Or some funny mystics. Your husband must never cook. In fact, he must never step into the kitchen. Your husband must never wash his clothes, not even his underpants. A wife has to make sure that her husband does not work. Tired? There's no time to be tired. A wife must always be ready to serve her husband. She must be strong. Yes, she must be strong because men will be men. He might cheat. He might even have a terrible attitude. So you must be strong. Keep your head low and protect your marriage at all costs. And then me, I see how you are it. I want you to come me and look around. Support you, support you, but don't make any sound. I want you to come near, but you follow me and leave me. Never forget the beauty of an African woman is her strength. You must be able to endure any man and anything. your favorite planting a chicken thanks i'll have some later Gigi, you can't go on like this you're gonna be late for your game Chichi, I haven't seen you. I haven't spoken to you for two weeks. I made you some food. I thought you were tired. I have enough for a whole week. I have dried fish, lumanda, chihuahua, and some carpenter. Chichi, I know you're angry, but these things have meaning. They help you have a good marriage. I went through it, your great-grandmother went through it, even your aunties went through it. We all had to endure. Chichi, please, please. Okay, my baby, maybe we can speak one day.
23 years. 23 years of marriage. It was hard. It was so hard. Thank you.